We have an update for you also on NASA's Artemis mission, the Orion capsule. It is now headed into a distant orbit around the moon after a flyby this morning that took the capsule 80 miles above the lunar surface. It is the first time a capsule has visited the moon since NASA's Apollo program 50 years ago. Orion's onboard cameras captured this view of the approaching moon and a very small Earth floating in the distance. The blue orb then disappeared as NASA's capsule and crew of test mannequins began a 34-minute journey around the backside of the moon. And we do have loss of signal. No communication could happen here, hence the animation. But during this time, NASA says Orion buzzed 80 miles above the moon's surface. Orion then fired up its orbital maneuvering system engine, leveraging the moon's gravitational pull to catapult it into a new distant orbit. Earthrise of our pale blue dot. About an hour later, Orion soared above Tranquility Base, where Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landed on July 20th, 1969. This is uh, one of those days that you've been thinking about and dreaming about for a long, long time. Next Monday, Orion will travel about 270,000 miles from Earth, the furthest in NASA's history for a spacecraft intended for astronauts. NASA looks at the Artemis program as really a two-phase sort of thing. One, test technology and procedures in order to eventually go to Mars. And two, look for resources you can mine on the moon to make exploration easier and lower cost. Two, one, boosters and ignition. Orion blasted off last week atop the most powerful moon rocket NASA has ever built. If this first Artemis mission is successful, astronauts are slated to head to the moon as early as 2024. An amazing mission underway here. Orion's three-week journey is set to end on December 11th with a splashdown near San Diego in the Pacific Ocean.